I'm Laura Black, and this year I served as chair of an ad hoc committee to advise the PhD colloquium. In recent years, we've observed that increasing numbers of PhD candidates are undertaking their research using system dynamics without on-site guidance from experienced system dynamicists. And so during the past year, um, I, it was my privilege to work with the PhD colloquium organizer, Jill Kuhlberg, to restructure the colloquium. And the focus of selecting the student presenters was to choose a variety of papers that showed um, the diversity of the kinds of work that can be done using system dynamics and the ways to think about using system dynamics and also to show work at different phases of development. And then we also had some excellent discussants for the presenters who not only offered comments that were helpful to the presenters themselves, but those comments were helpful to the whole PhD uh, colloquium audience. And so um, we were really pleased with the way that came out. Another innovation we used for the PhD colloquium was um, when students submit, they can be ex accepted to present uh, their papers in a PhD colloquium plenary, or they can uh, become part of a poster session uh, for the colloquium. And um, we wanted there to be a lot more vibrant interaction between experienced system dynamicists and these PhD students. Um, and especially for those who um, are in situations where they feel like they don't have sufficient resources to system dynamics expertise. And so what we did was we established a program called Angel Advisors, and we sent out an invitation to a couple of hundred um, system dynamicists in the society and invited them to invest in early stage research uh, for a bounded time. And so the PhD students, we matched advisors to advisees based on what each of them said their interests were. Also, we asked them about modeling software packages they preferred and other languages besides English that they speak. And, and so, um, and then the advisees, uh, to familiarize their advisors, a couple of weeks before the conference, they posted two minute videos, introductory videos of themselves and what they were researching and what they were most curious about in their research, and a, a, a 300 word abstract. And the advisors read those, and many of them reached out to their advisees through emails before the conference. But um, the, the two hour poster session at the colloquium was action packed. We had lots of non PhD students interacting with the PhD students. They're really substantive conversations and a lot of energy in the room. Um, some of those conversations have continued uh, far beyond the poster. And, uh, we hope that some of those conversations will continue uh, as the students need, even beyond the conference and through the weeks ahead. Great.